Okay, so for this recipe, it's lasagna stuffed chicken, and it's so good. The first time I made it, I thought I would want to share the recipe here on my channel because it's a really simple and delicious dinner. Um, but I wanted to test out the recipe first to make sure it was one that I loved. So I'm going to make it again for dinner tonight, and I thought I would share with you the process. So you're going to need some large chicken breasts. You'll need three of them. I just have a little baking tray here lined with some parchment paper. You'll need some salt, this is pink Himalayan sea salt, pepper, a sugar-free marinara sauce. Um, so I'm using this President's Choice brand. You'll need mozzarella cheese, ricotta, some Italian seasoning, some parsley, and then the recipe also calls for garlic powder. I don't have gar garlic powder on hand, so I'm just gonna um, chop a few cloves of actual garlic and sprinkle that in. So the link to the recipe will be down in the description box, and yeah, let's get going. Oh, one more thing, you're also gonna need some avocado oil. I have to get that out. Okay, so I've got the chicken, and what I've done is I butterflied it, which simply means you just cut it in half, but you don't cut all the way through. I've drizzled avocado oil on top of the chicken, and I've put my spices on, and I've added my garlic as well. I went ahead and mixed up the ricotta mixture, and that's just ricotta cheese and some mozzarella, parsley, and a bit of salt. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to portion it out on each of the chicken breasts, and then we'll fold everything closed and add... Um, some toppings. Okay, so once your sauce is on, you're gonna place it in your oven and the directions say to cook for 30 minutes. I find it needs a bit longer, so I just kinda go I test it along the way and I sort of give about 45 minutes um, because there is a stuffing in this it doesn't cook as quickly as it does if it were just a single piece of chicken breast in between a lot of these steps I actually just wash my hands um, I didn't show all that process but just be really aware when you are cooking with chicken that it can um, be a nasty process so make sure you clean up and use a lot of, um, of safety <laughs> kitchen safety Okay, so once your chicken is done and cooked through, that's my oven, you're gonna go ahead and sprinkle some mozzarella cheese on top and then you're gonna stick it under the broiler for just about two minutes. Keep an eye on it because things can burn really quickly. everything with some roasted veggies and some coconut crazy bread. I do have a recipe for that on my channel and a nice big piece of chicken. So it's going to be a delicious dinner. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.